In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use Kartra with your WordPress website. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur, and I wanted to make a video talking about how you could use Kartra with an existing web platform such as WordPress. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs use WordPress and maybe even other similar CMSs, but typically I find that a lot of people already have a website and maybe they use that for uh, their primary content, maybe even their blog, and then they want to create these campaigns and funnels and they use a page builder or a complete all-in-one marketing tool like Kartra. So if this is the situation you're in, you might be wondering, well, can I use WordPress with Kartra? Is it WordPress or Kartra? Or how do I even use both together? Is it clunky? And now am I going back to having to get this other tool? Thankfully, I can tell you that they work beautifully together and it is actually super easy. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can not only use the pages and pop-ups and all of those functions in Kartra, but also how to even use the form. So it all works beautifully, it's super easy. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing I wanna get started with is just your website setup. So let's just say you already have a website like bestwidgets.com and because you sell your best widgets. Then what you do is rather than setting Kartra up as obviously to replace bestwidgets.com, you just set it up as a subdomain. I have a whole video on domains that I'll link down below and you can learn how to set it up as a subdomain instead. So as you can see here, I'm using a core domain for this specific business, but I'm gonna show you how I use Kartra for one of my other businesses as well. So you have the option, right? You can build your entire website in Kartra. So if you're thinking, is it WordPress versus Kartra? Yes, you can build your website in Kartra, but the one limitation with Kartra is while it does have blogging, it's not really dynamic. Again, I also have a whole video about building blogs in Kartra and I go over why it's not really ideal while you can technically do it. To recap here, so what you wanna do is you wanna set your domain up as a subdomain. Check out that video if you wanna know how to do that. But let's jump right over to the business we're talking about today. So here's one of my businesses. I run a resort platform. So this is a custom JavaScript application and uh, it lets you compare resort or it's apples to apples, but I actually run my blog out of WordPress. So I'm already using that tactic right there. As you can see, it says blog.website.com. To use Kartra with WordPress, it's actually super easy. So the first thing we need to do is just go plugins and add new plugin. Then we just search for one called blank slate. It's free. I've already installed it, but it installs in two clicks. You just hit install and then you hit activate. It takes like 10 seconds. Then what we do is we go to our pages and now here we can make a new page. So we go to new page. Now the beauty of WordPress is that it's highly customizable. So your interface might look a little bit different depending on what version you're running, what visual plugins you have, but the steps are going to be the same because fundamentally it's going to be the same. So what you want to do is you want to find page attributes. You might have some menus here where it's hidden. It might, you might have to do like a checkbox, but for you, you might have to go to something like screen options and then find it there. The point being is you want to find this one called page attributes. Then you want to select landing page, which is something that blank slate adds. Then the next thing you want to do is just name your page. Let's just say Kartra test page. Now what we want to do is we want to go to our Kartra pages and you just take the page you've built. Now, I have a whole video on how to build landing pages with Kartra, so I won't go through that here. You can check that video out on the channel if you wanna know, but let's just assume you've already built and published your page, so then you go to get code or link. You go to get page code, just simply grab this little JavaScript snippet, head back over to WordPress. You wanna now select custom HTML. Again, this might look a little bit different for you. For me, I have to go to custom HTML because of the plugins I have. For you, it may be like this. Let me just show you. It may just be you go to t visual versus text. If you have a really out of the box, older looking WordPress, it might look like that for you. And so then you just paste it there. But essentially for me, I'm doing custom HTML. Then you can go in here and you can do all the SEO stuff. You can do your title, your meta description as you normally would with WordPress. I'm just gonna leave that stuff alone because that's not the purpose of this. And then we can finally publish our page. 
And so then we can see here, that is our page and we can go view page. Of course, like with the SEO, you can change that URL just like you would do with any other WordPress page. And so you can see that it just dynamically pulled that Kartra page in and everything works as expected. Even our pop-ups work. As you can see here, it's that easy. And then the beauty of this is if you wanna update this page in WordPress, you just update the page in Kartra, publish it, and it automatically updates in WordPress. So you never have to wonder, okay, now how do I update pages with WordPress and Kartra? No, you just go as you would normally use Kartra, you'd edit it and you just update the page as you normally would. Now, I also wanna show you how to use forms with WordPress. So if I go here and you wanna create a form, and now you would go through your standard process of creating forms. And so you just go through all the normal steps with creating a form. And then on here, you wanna, instead of saying use in Kartra, you wanna go to, I will embed in a third party page. Then you launch the form builder because now it can't take the styling from an existing Kartra page. And then you can of course pick a template, whatever you like. Let's say we pick this one and then let's just go save and exit. And you can edit the form of course, how you see fit. And then you save that. And then when you go to uh, finish, we simply copy that JavaScript. We go back into our WordPress and we can use that in any page. I will just show you here how to do that. Let's just say I want to use it instead. I want to use it as a standard page. Let's just say test form. You can paste this basically anywhere in WordPress. You can embed something in the sidebar or whatnot. I'm just making a page out of it. So for this one, do not use the um, landing page or blank slate because that's going to overwrite everything and it's going to take everything from Kartra. So what you want to do is you don't want to do that. You just want to simply go here again, custom HTML. You just hit publish again. You can do all the SEO stuff. You want to do that. I'm just showing you guys as an example. And then let's just say this is the form we want to use it for. Boom it's there and of course it's large you can style it and all of that so it's not enormous and it'll dynamically adjust let's say you put it here instead as an example obviously don't do this don't put it in the middle of the page because it's just dynamically adjusting but that's just to show you guys and that's not the only thing you can embed you can also embed your calendar so you just go to get calendar grab the javascript snippet right here and you can throw that in and it'll update this to make it the calendar instead. You can have people book sessions right on your WordPress blog and that's beautifully integrated with Kartra. Hope you're enjoying this because when I started doing this, I thought it was really amazing how easy it is to use Kartra with WordPress. And of course, you can also do that with videos right here, just like you could with any other video platform. You could go in here and you can paste in that link. Let's do that. Hi, it's Kevin from Solopreneur. As you would imagine, everything will work here. And I've disabled the player for that one so you won't see it, but you'll see it exactly like that. And I won't go through all the steps here, but just like the other tools I showed you, you can use your help desk with your WordPress site. It'll give you an embeddable code so there's a floating icon that pops up and they can get support. So that's also beautifully integrated into your WordPress site. So that's really the best of both worlds with using WordPress and Kartra. You can keep your website and your blog that you probably invest a lot of time into while still getting access to all of Kartra's features that come out of the box as well as the done for you campaigns. So even when people are interacting with their Kartra pages embedded on your WordPress site, that data, that tag data is still being stored, that's still accessible, that you can still build campaigns out of that. So it's not like you're now taking them out of the Kartra ecosystem and then you can't rely on that data anymore. I was actually shocked by this because I've used other landing page software like lead pages and things of that nature and it's just not as cleanly integrated and it's, it's I find and like it's really like you're just kicking them to another website and that's all it is so here you really get to maintain that continuity and there's really no difference between that and a wordpress site and that experience isn't as jarring so if you have a wordpress site and you were thinking about adding kartra now you know that it can work so if you haven't tried it already click the link in the description to get a 14-day trial of kartra if you found this video helpful drop me a like that's all i ask i put a lot of time and effort into these videos kartra is a very niche topic so it's not like there are a ton of viewers, but I do it because I believe in the technology and I do want to help this growing community of Kartra users. So a like goes a long way. Drop me a comment. Love to know what struggles you're having. I'll try and reply to everyone. And if you want more Kartra marketing automation, business growth content, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.